Hello! Today we're gonna to be remaking Flappy Bird in increasingly stupid ways. From Premiere Pro to File Explorer, I'm here to prove that anything is a game engine if you try hard enough. Oh! What? Okay, game engine one. File Explorer is a game engine. It's got everything you need. It can like store images, I suppose. Hmm? Yeah, that, that's all you really need. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so here's the plan. If we fill up this bad boy with a bunch of new folders, then we have a picture of the Flappy Bird bird. This makes me extremely uncomfortable. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like a Cyclops version. Anyway, okay, there we go. That's our boy. Now, in theory, we can change the name of the bird and it should move around. If we call it Zero Bird, that didn't work at all. <laughs> that, that did, it should move up. Am I crazy? Oh, wait, no, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. You don't want folders. Folders are always above the other files. We want, like, text files. Okay, let's make some text files. Did it crash? Okay, we're good. Okay, that really doesn't bode well. All I did was create a text file. Shit is... We've barely started. Shit is about to get so much worse. All right, let's fill her up. Okay, now if we change the name, it should move. Yeah! I am celebrating so hard. All we did was rename it. Okay, we got shit to do. Let's go. <laughs> Next, I wrote a little Python file to rename all the text files so I don't have to manually go through and do them all. And this should allow for more precise movement. Name this to 2A. Does that move it after 2? It does. Okay, okay. And now if we want to move it down 1, I think we have to call it 17A. Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. Also decided to use medium icons so we got more spaces to move around in. Now we can write a script that will just move it around randomly. All right, this is good, but we've run into our first, let's call it quirk of this game engine. It's not really that consistent with refreshing the display. Like this is supposed to change the position of the bird every second, but if we put it next to a metronome, then you see it's really not doing well. Now, not all is hopeless. We do have one option left, and that's this absolute beaut right here, this fucking legend. This guy, when you click it, refreshes the display, which is like exactly what we want. So my first thought is to run an auto clicker to spam click that bad boy. All right, let's click that shit every like 10 milliseconds. That should be enough. Oof, yeah, that's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem great. Oh no, oh no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I fucked up. I've done fucked up. Oh, can no longer exhale. <laughs> Trust me to break fucking file explorer. Oh, we're back. It works. Oh no, it's opening them all. No, 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 no. Look at this. Oh no, no. Oh no, it's still going. Ah, okay. So it turns out every 10 milliseconds is a touch excessive and we could probably just do it every time we change a file. Also, I have PTSD from letting Python control my mouse. I can do. Uh, oh no, it's open command prompt. <laughs> so we're gonna use keyboard shortcuts to refresh it instead. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, that's pretty in sync. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, this is way better. Uh, but a game running in an FPS of one is not ideal. We're trying to make Flappy Bird here, not Cyberpunk. So let's see how far we can push it. It's 10 FPS. I was gonna do a whole montage thing. Can't be fucked up with that. It's 10 FPS. If we go any further than 10 FPS, it starts like skipping frames like this. And that fucking sucks. So 10 FPS it is. Okay, let's actually get the game happening. All we've done is move a bird like left and right. Let's actually get some like gravity happening. I'm making flappy bird. I'm coding flappy bird. Oh, yeah, that's gravity, baby, it's going. Oh, he is going far. That is, <laughs> that is a big number. All right, let's flap that bird. And then space. Oh! Space, hello? I broke it. Also, if you speed up the footage, it almost looks playable. <laughs> okay, it's pipe time. It's pipe time, it's pipe time. Gotta get that, that fucking pipe time. It's pipe time, it's pipe time, gotta get that fucking pipe time. It's pipe time, it's pipe time. Oh, oh, look at the pipe. It's working. It's fucking working. Ah, oh, wait, it crashed. Oh, but it's a good crash because it happens when I hit the pipe. Yes. Okay, I don't have to code that bit in. My shitty coding has built in collision detection. Yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's Flappy Bird. It's, this is gonna be so hard. And now we just have to spawn new pipes in every now and then and we're Gucci, baby. All right, let's do this shit. That's one. Easy, easy game. Go for two. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's crazy. Can he get three? No, no, I died, no. <laughs> but that's Flappy Bird! Flappy Bird in File Explorer, yeah! I told you, File Explorer is a game engine.
Also, I tried to do it with a sky background, but moving around PNGs is way slower than moving around text files, so it was pretty unplayable. Also, this happened. Oh! What happened? Where'd it go? Am I, I think I've become... <laughs> have I become a pipe? Yes, I have become a pipe. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That happens. So yeah, anyway, next game engine. Microsoft Paint is a game engine. It's got everything you need. You can, like, the paint stuff. Ah, oh, look, I painted your mum. Okay, so here's the idea for this one. Basically, the plan is to write a Python script that is going to control the mouse to really quickly draw the entire state of the game. So it'll like draw some pipes over here and that'll probably have to change the color of the paint and then draw the bird like this. And yeah, that's like one frame. It'll have to like redraw everything every other frame. Or I guess we'll have to erase stuff. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Okay, let's draw some shit. Okay, that's good, but let's draw it a bit faster. Okay, that was faster, but it was a different shape, which is not ideal. Uh, yeah, that's the speed we're looking for, baby. Okay, now that we're happy with the speed, let's actually draw the bird from the game, from the Flappy Bird game. Yeah, we'll draw that. Uh, and to draw that bird, we're going to need some circles, uh, which is hard to do with lines. And I couldn't be fucked writing the code to do this, so uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to take that. Oh, yeah, kind of. Kind of fucking kind of. It was kind of slow and it missed this point and it didn't finish the thing, but here at Code Bullet Industries, we can happily overlook these things. Also, every time we run it, it seems to fuck up in a unique way, which is, that's fun. That's a, I'm going to say that's a stylistic choice and move on. But we do need it to be faster. So let's reduce the number of points in the circle. And he's also way too big, so let's shrink him down. Okay, very nice. Okay, and now I needed some code to draw rectangles. So I wrote that from scratch. And this should draw the bird and one of the pipes. That, yeah, sure. That's, that's something, sure. Uh, yeah, still not a rectangle, but we are getting closer. Oh, yes, that's the stuff. We got a bird. We got a pipe, baby. That's all you need. Once again, it's kind of different every time we run it, but uh, we've already solved this by calling this a feature. All right, everyone, shut up. Ready, ready, ready? Boom, Flappy Bird. <laughs> yes. The frame rate of this game is going to be fucking atrocious. That was so slow. <laughs> but I think that's as good as we're getting. Okay, let's get some colors in this bitch. To change colors, we're just going to quickly click on the color we want before we draw the stuff. So it'll be like yellow, then draw birds, then green, then draw pipes. You know, you know how paint works? It's like that. Let's also have the background be blue. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I've done a thing. You ready? <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. Look at him. He's so handsome. Um, all right, let's try actually moving the pipes. Shit should move now. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna need to clear out the screen once we've done drawing a single frame. A sane person would probably do like a control A delete and then paint the background, but fuck that. I'ma just Beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> no. Every time the bird's different. <laughs> all right so i haven't actually coded any of the gameplay like all i've done is draw a bird um, so let's actually make this flappy bird i'm making flappy bird flap 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 i'm making flappy bird flappy bird flap 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 okay let's do this oh okay it's, it's over here now but it is falling it's not clearing properly, but ignore that. We got gravity in Microsoft Paint. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's not right. Uh, hello? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's run it back. I, I don't know why the bird is green now. Just, just go with it. It's fine. Okay, what happens when I hit space? Does it flap? No, it breaks everything. <laughs> that's a nice feature. That's great. Okay, our bird's looking good. It's the right color. I didn't change anything, but it works now. And do we have a flap? Oh, we got it. We got a flap. Let's get, let's get an action replay on that bad boy. Oh, that's the good shit. That's what we do this for. Yeah. Okay, I made the bird smaller and the gap a little bigger so you can actually fucking play the game. And this is miserable. Let's, let's speed this up a bit so you can actually watch it. Oh, he's through. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, oh, what is, what is going on? <laughs> Ah, what? <laughs> now, all that's left is to add some collision and death logic so the bird just doesn't fly straight through the pipes. And <laughs> we got Flappy Bird, baby. Easy. I'm making Flappy Bird. Oh, no. <laughs> wow.
Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> you dead. <laughs> you dead. <laughs> what a game. Yep, as I said, Microsoft Paint is a game engine. B tier, better than Unity. I don't know why I said that, like I've got a tier list going. This is the only one that I've rated. ChatGPT is a game engine. It's got everything you need. It can even draw your mum. Ah, what the, what the fuck is that? Ah, <laughs> ah, is this what my audience looks like? Ah! It can also make Flappy Bird. Okay, I want you to draw a screenshot of the Flappy Bird game in ASCII art with the background represented with stars and the bird represented with this little arrow. I don't know what that is. <laughs> End of the pipes represented by square brackets. Oh, actually not bad. Actually, I thought it'd be way worse. It didn't really do the background star thing, but that's okay. I think this is better. The pipes should be vertical. Okay, that's looking good. There should be a gap in the pipes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, it begins. The gap should split a single vertical pipe into two vertical pipes. Uh, no. Yeah, it was ambitious that that would fix it. The vertical pipes should be aligned so they are above each other. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. You know what Flappy Bird is, right? Oh, what is that? What? <laughs> that is so much worse. Why are there two birds? Hmm, I... <sighs> I don't know. Is that bad? I don't know. Why is there a square? Mmm. That's the same fucking thing. Oh, okay. That actually helped it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, actually close. But can you remove the square around the bird? Yeah, starting to get proper mad now. <laughs> get rid of the square. Okay, progress. Okay, now get rid of the horizontal lines. You're fucking joking. This piece of shit thinks he's funny. He got rid of these lines. No, obviously not what I'm talking about. Bro, not those ones. The ones around the bird. Almost there. There's still horizontal lines though. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, great. Now can you have the game move to the next game state? Assume the bird is falling. Duh, for fuck's sake. Duh. <laughs> Where's the top pipe gone? Okay, it's back, but it's fucked again. The top and bottom pipes are misaligned now. Okay, you changed nothing. Whatever, let's just try to play the game. Proceed to the next game state. Okay, that kind of did something. It moved down, I think. I don't know what changed, actually. Okay, now next game state, but I flapped. Oh, okay, that did go up. Have the pipes move left every game state. Oh, I think it moved the bird. Okay, whatever, let's keep going. Okay, next state. Next. 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 The pipes aren't moving. They still aren't moving. What, what are we doing? Move the pipes left. Next frame. Next frame. Next frame. Move the fucking pipes. This game sucks. All right, you know what? No, you can't. You can't fucking do it. ChatGPT is not a game engine. Whatever. Fuck. Moving on. Jesus. Premiere Pro is a game engine. This piece of shit is why it takes me four fucking months to make a video. It's got everything you need, except for the ability to not crash all the fucking time. Okay, here's the play. Create a new Premiere Pro project, add a bird, add a wall, drag the bird into the timeline, boom. And you're probably thinking, oh, I know what this guy's gonna do. The bird's probably gonna move around here in the video preview, um, and the pipes will come from here and stuff, but no, 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 no. That's some pussy shit. All we need is this bad boy right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't believe me? Watch this. Boom. Bird. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we just need to make like 4,000 lanes. And by using keyboard shortcuts, we can move our boy up and down. Okay, bird done. Okay, it's pipe time. It's pipe time. It's pipe time. Gotta get the fucking pipe time. It's pipe time. It's pipe time. Gotta get the fucking pipe time. Yeah. All right, are you seeing my vision now? Are you seeing my genius? Okay, so we can move the bird up and down, but what about moving it through the pipes? I found a hotkey that moves the selected clip to the playhead, which the playhead is like this line here, which is basically what the preview screen is showing. Like where in the video we are. I don't know if you use editing software, <laughs> whatever, you figure it out. So when you play this video, it moves through the pipes. And if we are constantly moving this clip to the playhead, it'll follow it. Mix up some up and down movement and we got the most annoying version of Flappy Bird I've ever experienced, but technically we're getting close. And God, that fucking sound is gonna get old quick. 
All right, let's actually get some gravity and flapping happening. Up until this point, it's just been moving like up and down periodically, which is not Flappy Bird. This is it on a longer course. I've tried everything to make this actually not look like shit, but the main problem is just this snapping to the playhead is very inconsistent. Uh, so it, it's always just gonna look like shit if we keep using that. We can just move the bird to the right using hotkeys so it doesn't follow the playhead, which is smoother, but there's a small problem. Oh, he just kind of leaves, huh? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's not ideal. Morale was low. I had hit rock bottom. Was Premiere Pro not a game engine after all? Were all the haters right? But then I had an epiphany. If you can't move the bird through the pipes, then move the pipes through the bird. Yeah, this didn't work at all. If you have the pipe selected, then you can't move the bird. Like you can't have two separate versions of things selected. So it's no longer Flappy Bird. It's just bird which is not as fun. Morale was low. I had hit rock bottom. Was Premiere Pro not a- If you can't flap the bird, then flap the pipe. Hi, 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 hi. This is so fucking stupid. Oh, and it looks so jank. Oh. If we speed it up and track the footage so it looks like the bird's moving and not the pipes, then we got it. It's Flappy Bird. That's nah, still good. We haven't been fully cut off yet, so we're still good. Okay, yeah, now we're dead. Now we're dead. That's fair. <laughs> Premiere Pro is a gaming engine. It's a shit one, but it is a gaming engine. Also, here it is, like, zoomed out and tracked. I don't know if that's better or worse than the zoomed in. I don't know, but whatever. Here it is. You're welcome. Mwah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Most of it was just honestly me using Python as a backend and using random programs to display the game, but I thought it was fun. If you want to learn how to do stuff like this, then the perfect place to do that is Brilliant.org. Brilliant has a ton of interactive courses on all things math, science, and computer science, including courses teaching you the basics of Python programming. It's true that I'm no stranger to using a little performance enhancing drug to assist me programming. Like everyone knows I'm not natty, but it's rarely as simple as you just ask it to code something, then it immediately nails it. It's still super important that you can understand and read code so you can tell it all the ways in which it fucked up. And Brilliant's courses are a great way to learn these fundamentals. They're interactive and actually fun instead of just learning it from a textbook. There's also courses on how large language models like ChatGPT work, so you covered both of your bases there. So if you want to support this channel and try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash code bullet or click the link in the description. With that link, you'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Okay, thank you, Brilliant. Before we go into the Patreon battle, which if you don't know what that is, then video. In June, I'll be going to Open Source, which is a YouTuber slash maker event that is run by William Osman. People come to show off some of the crazy shit they've built. Uh, Adam Savage will be there, so that's pretty cool. I don't know. It's just like a YouTuber slash engineering thing that I'm going to. If you have something that you've built and want to show it off, you can apply. There will be a link in the description below. It could be software, it could be hardware, it could be whatever you want, really. There aren't any rules. Except for it has to be dope. Okay, anyway, it's Patreon time. Let it rip. Yeah, so as I said, if you don't know what this is, I put out a video explaining all of that. To go check it out but basically it's a patreon battle it's what it looks like it's a patreon battle for my patreon supporters and it just gives me some time to talk about some dumb shit at the end of videos um yeah so if you enjoyed the video let me know if you want to see more i have more ideas for how i can make flappy bird and dumb things including stuff like flappy bird on a 3d printer flappy bird in like powerpoint that should be possible excel on an oscilloscope would be an interesting one on a cat so many different ideas um uh, so yeah if you like this video let me know i can do more um I'm hoping to put out some more videos. That's my grand plan is optimistically, and I know I feel like I say this shit a lot, optimistically, two videos a month. I don't think we're gonna get there, but that's a stretch goal. So we'll aim for two, we'll probably get like 1.5, but that's still pretty good. Um, I'm gonna be trying out some different things, maybe some cheeky hardware in videos, some robotics and stuff, but you'll just have to wait and see. If you're supporting me on Patreon and don't see yourself here, you have to be part of one of the tiers that actually gives you a Beyblade. That's just how the API is working and how my program works. Um, so if you want to switch over, that's probably a play. Congrats to Nathan Watt for the big W. You win some free merch from CodeBulletShop.com, which is live again. It was down for ages because of boring manufacturing bullshit, but uh, we got it back. Um, we got this new Spaceman design, which is cool. And we got some shirts. I don't know, check it out. But I will be in touch, Nathan. Anyway, that's it. Later.